Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and I'm going to be talking about the national championship that is tonight at 7 o'clock, Georgia versus TCU. I am so excited for this TCU-Georgia national championship that we have a pleasure to get to watch tonight. Um, I think this could be one of the most exciting national championships um, in a while. I mean, last year's was pretty good between Alabama and Georgia. I didn't really, I don't, I watched a little bit of it, but um, I'm really excited for this national championship, Georgia TCU. Um, everybody that I've talked to about this game has told me, shouldn't you be rooting for TCU? Because they're, they're, they play, they play, but they play in Texas. And the answer is, that, yeah, probably I should. But I'm still a little upset how they stomped us um, earlier in this. I'm talking about the Longhorns, how, how they killed us earlier this season. But I think we can get over it um, because possibly we have a chance to beat them next year. Um, I've always liked the Georgia Bulldogs for a while now. I have it. I have a bully. I have a Bulldog. So, you know, you know a couple years ago, like four – Five years ago, I learned that the Bulldog, the Georgia, was named the Bulldogs. And, you know, I love the name because, you know, I got a Bulldog. So, um, but for me personally, even though I've always liked the Bulldogs because I have a Bulldog and because Georgia is a great team, um, and I've always loved watching the Bulldog game, the Georgia games with, with my Bulldog when, when they're ever on, whenever, you know, my team, if unless like the Rockets aren't playing or, um, or the Texans or whatever, um, if, if, you know, I, if I'm not busy, I watch the Bulldogs and I watch, I watch the game with my Bulldog. Um, even though I, I have that special tradition, I still, I still, like, still thinking about it, I still think that I'd like TCU to win this game. Even though they killed us earlier this season in Austin, I still think I'd like TCU to win this game. Personally, my thoughts is, like, I don't like really in college football where someone wins back-to-back -back college championships. I think it's a little boring because, you know, with college football, players change. Like, for instance, in the NFL and the NBA, it's kind of cool when someone wins back-to-back. -back. Same players. There's going to be different players in Alabama next year. I mean, obviously, I think they'll still have – I think they'll still have Ben as their quarterback. Different players will, will be on the on the Bulldogs next year than there were last year, and they'll, different players will be on the Bulldogs next year uh, than, than that were next – last year, uh, this year. So I think that personally I'd love to see – a new team win the national championship. I think it's more, it's more interesting, um, especially TCU, a team that has went through so much. This is a team that was not even projected to be top five in their conference this season. I mean, think about that, and they make it all the way to the national championship. I mean, to make it, to make it into the top four is is very amazing for what they've been through. I think I saw something like they were projected to be like seven. Uh, seven in the Big 12, I believe. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure. We're, they were projected to be like seven in the Big 12. So just like think about that and how crazy that is. How you've managed to make it all the way to the national championship, and how cool it would be if you win the national championship. I mean, you have an amazing quarterback in Max Dugan, um, a great coach. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Should have probably looked that up. Um, you have a great coach. You got a great quarterback. You got great players around. Good defense. I mean, that's why they killed us. That's why they killed the Longhorns, because their defense killed us. Um, you have a good wide receiver, which I want my Houston Texans to draft, Quentin Johnson. They've got a great team. They got some good running backs as well. They got a great team. I don't know if it's enough to beat Georgia, but I think it would be amazing if it is. Um, and personally, getting into my prediction, I think they do make it happen. I think uh, I think TCU shocks the world. Personally, if Ohio State can nearly beat Georgia, I think anything is possible. I think TCU has a shot. Does it happen? I think Georgia's a very strong team. I think Georgia has a shot to just blow this one through the water and you know get their second national championship win in a row, back to back. But Going into my prediction, which I could be wrong, I could be right, I got TCU winning this one. I got Max Dugan showing the showing us the quarterback he is, and I like I really like this kid. I, you know, if I have to give y'all a comparison of um, 
of like what I can see him being like is like a Josh Allen type player. Like if you look at this picture, that looks he looks like Josh Allen's twin. I mean, does that not look like Josh Allen right there? I'm not talking about the way he's holding the football or you know the way he looks. His face looks exactly like Josh Allen. He looks his face looks very. The first time I saw Max Dugan, I thought. He looks like he's related to Josh Allen. Um, but not only does he look like Josh Allen, he plays like Josh Allen. The way he plays, the way he, you know, the, the type of throws he makes, the, you know, the type of, you know, running, the running system that Josh Allen does, the way he runs as a quarterback. The, Max Stugan says, does the similar things. You know, the way it, it, him and Josh Allen are very similar players. And I personally think if TCU could win this national championship, I think more NFL teams could be looking more at Max Dugan going into this NFL draft and could be a nice target for um, the 2000 23 NFL draft. I think that if he declares, I think, I don't know, he's not going to go in the first round, but I could possibly see him going in the second or third round if possibly, just possibly, um, he wins the national chip, cha- championship tonight. I think that could be a very interesting thing to look out. Um, getting into my score prediction, exactly, I got TCU winning this one 40 to 37. Like I said, this is not going to be an easy win if you win it, but. If you want to win it, you got to play hard. You got to fight against a good Georgia team. I think personally that TCU takes care of business tonight. Could could be hard, but um, I, I don't know. I got TCU. I got a good feeling about this tonight. So, uh, th- I, but you know, even it's not like I'm rooting for anybody in this game. You know, people ask me who am I rooting for. I'm really not rooting for anybody. Um, when I when I'm not rooting for anybody, I want I just want a good game. You know, it's like the playoffs. You know, someone asked me the other day, and who's who are you rooting for in the NFL playoffs? I mean, I, I'm not rooting for really anybody. I just I just want I just want you know good playoff games, good games down to the end. As long as the Cowboys don't win a Super Bowl, I'm okay. Just kidding, guys. Um, but I just think that you know I like him competitive football, you know, whether, you know, it's it, unless it's my team, the Texans, there's, there's no competitive football uh, with the Texans because they, they're trash. But I think that um, with the, not only this national championship tonight, but the NFL playoffs, I just want competitive football. I want good games down the end. And I think pretty strongly think that this Georgia game, TCU, no matter who wins it tonight, will come down to the end. I don't know about down to the last second, like that Ohio State-Georgia game went down to the last kick but this game will be a one score possession this will be a, a one score possession game in my opinion when it's all said and done hopefully this is a great game I got Max Dugan and the TC and TCU coming on top and getting the national championship win the underdogs they've been the underdogs um, they've been amazing so hopefully hopefully we have a good game and that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed and let me know your predictions for tonight and hopefully we have a good national championship uh peace out and give me your predictions